Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a special two-in-one um, love reading. It's going to be the first half for Scorpios who are in a relationship or connection of some sort. And the second half will be for those of you that are single. Um, keep in mind that the readings will not resonate with everyone. You know the drill. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest, and don't try to make it fit if it's not your story. It just means today is not your reading and maybe the next one will be. Um, thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate um, the fact that you support the channel and you want to share your story and connect with me. I really appreciate it. Um, special thank you to those of you who take the time out of your day to leave me such nice comments. It does not go unnoticed. Um, I am doing personal readings. The link to that is in the description box below. And we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to start with couples. So for Scorpio. Um, Scorpios that are in a connection spirit. I'm using the Tarot of the Golden Wheel today. Feel free to watch both readings if you'd like. I just wanted to split them up in case anybody would be more interested in one than the other. Spirit, what does Scorpios in a connection need to know? Need to know. I apologize in advance. I am most likely going to be dropping a lot of cards on in this deck because it is very tall. Um, this way, and my arm, my hands can only like I could, I can't even grab this whole deck. This is like the most I can grab at one time. So some cards might fall out. Just bear with me. I loved using this deck though. So. All right, let's do a simplified Celtic spread for my Scorpios in a connection. Spare, what do they need to know in regards to love? What do they need to know? Okay, starting off with the Seven of Wands reversed, crossed by the Chariot reversed. Okay. Um... It looks like um, a lot of you in a connection are thinking of going in a different direction. This could be, by the way, Scorpio, this could be your reading specifically or the, or the person that you're in a connection with. It could be vice versa. So flip it like it, how it, re flip it if it resonates more for you. Can't even talk. Um, I definitely feel like there's some, some sort of ending or culmination here, some sort of burden that's being dropped finally or something that's being ended. One of you in this connection or both of you in this connection wanna go in a different direction. And I feel it's because someone here with the seven of wands reversed, they no longer want to be guarded. They no longer wanna be defensive. They no longer wanna fight for something or stand their ground. They could be giving up or not feeling confident enough to keep going. We'll see. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Thank you. Eight of Swords reversed. Someone's overcoming their fear, um, not feeling stuck, seeing a way out of their circumstances, seeing other options for them. What's on your mind, Scorpio? What is on your mind? What is on your mind? Six of Pentacles reverse. Something is not balanced, not fair to you. Uh, maybe you're putting in more effort than someone else and you're over it. Um, maybe uh, someone here has feelings for a person and it's not being reciprocated as well. What happened in the recent past? I'm going to clarify all of these. What happened in the recent past? Justice. Okay, the truth here. An important decision. Balance, something that's fair to you. Just, okay. What's coming up in the near future? Coming up in the near future for Scorpio spirit. It's coming up in the near future for Scorpio. 
Three of Cups. A reunion of some sort coming together with someone. Celebrating, ooh, Queen of Swords reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse, interesting. Let's clarify, let's get into this. Let's start with the Seven of Wands reverse. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? For Scorpio, why is the Seven of Wands reverse? Nine of Cups, so you didn't get what you wanted or this wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Maybe you got what you wanted, but it's like you had to give something up or compromise. Five of Pentacles, you could be feeling lonely in this connection. You could be struggling, um, maybe feeling left out or abandoned. Um, maybe you got your wish, but you're still not, not happy. I feel like you are giving up on something though. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Six of wands, yeah. So it's like you want to change direction here because you want success. You could be literally moving or feeling like maybe success is elsewhere. Tell me more about the chariot reverse. Why is the chariot reverse? Cancer energy with the Chariot Reverse and Libra energy with the Justice card. Page of Cups. Ooh. There could be a message coming in or you could be wanting to approach someone and, and share how you feel or express how you feel. This could also be an apology, but I'm seeing it more as... Um, expressing how you feel like an initial conversation about a connection here and i have king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck you could be um approaching a taurus virgo capricorn um maybe someone wants to maybe a king of pentacles energy is the one offering this page of cups so it could be anybody that's grounded stable um good with finances i feel like this message with this page of cups whatever this is whether it's a love offer or an apology i think you're going to choose a different direction it's like this message is going to be the deciding factor of which path you go down, if that makes sense. Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. Where is it? Okay. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords reverse. Queen of Swords reverse. So the Queen of Swords reverse did want to come out. Interesting. Two queens here. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords reverse. Why is Eight of Swords reverse? Ten of Swords reverse. Two of Cups at the bottom there. Interesting. So it's almost like strength reverse behind that. With the Ten of Swords reverse, this is like someone's ready to move on from an ending, from something that hasn't worked out. Uh, maybe learning to forgive for how they were treated or just not letting a betrayal or an ending hold them back. That's what the Ten of Swords reversed is about. And I feel like doing this is gonna lead you to a Two of Cups. Either some of you are forgiving your partner 
or some of you are forgiving yourselves or just ready to move on. Maybe this ending doesn't affect you like it once did. And when that happens, here comes this page of cups. Now this queen of swords reverse and this queen of pentacles, um, this could be two different people. It could be that you are overcoming a feeling trapped or stuck with a queen of swords reverse, which is a very difficult person to communicate with. They tend to be uh, honestly terrible people. The queen of swords reversed, very cold, calculating. Um, they twist the truth. They like to play mind games. They're just not, not a very good um, person to deal with. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is someone completely on a different level here. Uh, stable, grounded, energy, very generous, giving the Queen of Pentacles. Usually she's in some sort of a commitment and so is the King of Pentacles. So it could be, um, for some of you, you were a Queen of Swords reversed and you're coming into your own now that you've healed from a difficult ending. And for others of you, you are overcoming um, a difficult ending with a Queen of Swords energy and you're coming out on top is what I see here. Um, and it's because there's something new coming in for you. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed? Why is this on your mind? Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? Five of Cups reversed. What else? What, what, what else can you tell me about the Six of Pentacles reversed? There's the Six of Pentacles reversed here. Four of Pentacles. Very interesting. Bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. It's almost like you are withdrawing, holding back because you are healing from a very sad or disappointing situation. Some of you are completely over the past. Some of you are in like just guarding your heart right now and completely over the unbalanced or imbalance that was in the past with a certain person. For a small number of you, you are holding on to hope that you're gonna be recovering someone that left even though this person might not feel the same way this person could have already left so it could be those two circumstances take it how it resonates because there's i'm reading for a lot of people here. There's a lot of people watching okay tell me about justice and there okay oh, i just flew out four of wands reverse so it's almost like there was um lack of harmony lack of stability in in the home uh, domestic issues possibly or um, something that was just not really balanced here not really stable and it's like now you're having justice this could be for some of you a legal matter um, like a divorce or it could be um, something to do with assets or moving tell me more about justice temperance Sagittarius energy here Yeah, it's almost like um, maybe this was a long time coming. Maybe you were working on this for a while. Um, the hangman reverse. It could be that you, you didn't want to sacrifice something or you weren't able to look at something um, from a different angle in the past until you got justice or until you saw that you realized the truth. And I think it's because of temperance, because you have, you're coming into balance within yourself. The situation is writing itself. And so now you can possibly see a little bit different. So this could be something as, um, for an example, some, sometimes we're in a situation and we cannot see a way out or see anything from, from an objective viewpoint, because we're right in the middle of the, of the circumstances. But once we distance ourselves, we can see things a little bit different. Sometimes when we heal from pain, we're able to look back at the past or at what happened and see it with new eyes. That's the kind of energy that I'm picking up here. 
So tell me about the Three of Cups. What is the Three of Cups doing here in the near future? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. It kind of came out sideways, so I'll just take it sideways there. Tell me about the Three of Cups. It looked more upright, but just in case. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Whoa, that's way too many. Interesting, Ten of Wands at the bottom again. Wheel of Fortune reversed, Nine of Pentacles reversed. So what I see here is um, maybe in the future something will... It's very interesting because usually the Nine of Pentacles to me is someone that's not free, uh, insecure, um, relies on other people, um, is not single. That's usually how I see the Nine of Pentacles. But when I saw this with the Wheel of Fortune reverse and this Ace of Pentacles kind of like in limbo, it's almost like there is an opportunity coming in where you're not going to be single. And I, I'm seeing it that way too because I have the Three of Cups here and the Ten of Wands with the Two of Wands and then right after that, the King of Cups. So I feel like this is a coming together here, a possibly something like um, a celebration, a, a party, or um, possibly an engagement for some of you. Because I have the Ace of Pentacles here in limbo. Even though, really, I think it was like more upright than anything. But I feel like for a long time, for the Scorpios that I'm reading, things weren't working out for you. You were possibly attached to something. You probably didn't have your independence. You were probably feeling low, um, like you were missing something in life. And I think it's because there was a burden you were carrying that, and, and now you've chosen a different path, you see? And it's gonna lead you to love. And it's very interesting that I'm getting that message because for others of you, I feel like a small number of you are in a third party situation and it's probably going to stay that way because someone here is still attached, is still married. But I feel like that's a very small number of you. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here and continue on to the singles reading. Uh, feel free to stick around if you're interested in that or I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. All right, singles, let's get right into this for my Scorpios. Who are single spirit? What messages do you have? What messages do you have for Scorpios that are single? Scorpios that are single. Single Scorpio. What messages do you have? For Scorpios that are single spirit. For my single Scorpios, let's get right into this. What messages do you have for single Scorpios? Oh, okay. Those two came right out. Okay, we got Temperance Reverse, Knight of Wands, uh, Sagittarius Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy here with the Knight of Wands. Temperance Reverse, something is not working out, not coming together, not blending in harmony. There's a lack of balance here, possibly because someone's being um, impulsive, or this could be that there's a lot of attraction and chemistry, but not much else, or something's just not working out, even though there is a connection here, like a physical connection. Why is this happening? Why is this happening, spirit? Oh my God, that's way too many. Why is this happening, spirit? Why is this happening? Oh, that one. Okay, we got death, Scorpio energy here. Some sort of ending or change <clears throat> has happened. What's on your mind? What's on the mind of my single Scorpio spirit? What are they thinking at this time? What's on their mind? 
Four of Swords, Eight of Cups. You're thinking about leaving. You're thinking about moving on, moving forward, leaving something behind that no longer serves you. Maybe you've healed from something that has happened and now you're ready to move forward and go after your Nine of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like you want a new beginning with Page of Wands. What happened in the recent past? You could also be thinking about someone's departure. I just got that message. What happened in the recent past here for my single Scorpios? Whoa. High Priestess reverse. Something was either said or spoken out loud that someone was keeping hidden or someone's ignoring their intuition. I'm going to clarify and see which one it is. What's coming on in the near future? What's coming up? Coming up, I mean. <laughs> what is English? <laughs> What's coming up in the near future for my single Scorpios? What is coming up in the near future for my single Scorpios? The Lover's Reverse. Knight of Swords Reverse. So something here, I feel like there is a potential that either there's going to be a breakup and remember this is either for you scorpio singles the spread or it could be the person coming into your life uh because you know that's how energy works um it could also be like some of you could be single but you're thinking of someone that you're interested in it could be their energy so just take it as it resonates but there could be a potential here for a either a breakup or someone's going to choose the wrong person so we'll clarify and see. Let's get into this. Tell me about Temperance Reverse. Why is Temperance Reverse here? Sagittarius energy with the Temperance card. Why is it Reverse? Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. De Devil Reverse. Interesting. Tell me more about Temperance Reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Why is Temperance reversed? Five of Cups reversed. It's almost like you're overcoming um, or getting over healing from what didn't come together. It could also be that you're still giving to this, still stressed about this, not over the past for some of you. It's like the Queen of Pentacles is very hopeful. Queen of Pentacles, this could be also be someone who's married but separated. Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands, please. Why is the Knight of Wands here? It's like something didn't come together, but someone wants something or there's still passion here about something. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Nine of Swords again. Ace of Cups reverse, King of Swords reverse. Interesting. It's like um, it's like someone um, wants something, but they're too scared or emotionally blocked to get it. You need to break free from that. I had the Devil reverse, and now the Eight of Swords reverse. So this is something about someone breaking. Yeah, there's a Devil reverse right behind it. Look at this. This is all about breaking free, becoming untangled, overcoming toxic or negative energies. Someone needs to overcome toxic negative energies in order to, over, to go after what they want here. King of Swords reverse, terrible person. Someone that's completely cold, shut off emotionally. Um, they are vindictive, hurtful. It could be that someone wants to approach or um, hash it out with this King of Swords or just have a conversation with this King of Swords reverse, but um, it's only going to be disappointment here. It could also be that someone is very heartbroken and so they've closed off emotionally, even if they have interest in someone else. They need to break free of that. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, if this is you, Scorpio, 
have you here with the death card if this is you i feel like whatever has not come together or has not blended in harmony it's like it's like you're still stuck in what happened in the past or what hasn't worked out for you it's like um you're giving to this energetically some of you like i said are in a uh, marriage but are separated or want to be separated but that's not coming together for you so you're not able to go after love uh, instead you're dealing with a difficult person and again you need to break free of that why is death here this is why everything is happening death why is death here queen of cups four of pentacles another um, person here another queen I feel like someone here is again I just keep picking up that someone's holding on to an ending king of cups reversed this is a couple that does not see eye to eye possibly they didn't work out or there was a separation between them or one of them is blocked i feel like with the the four of pentacles this is all about being guarded holding on protecting yourself tell me more about death where is death here the tower reverse you could be wanting to avoid a tower avoid a breakup avoid um a change here three of cups some of you are in a third party situation maybe you're single but you want to be with someone else but they're not available maybe this person chose someone else regardless this queen of cups she's holding on to something because she doesn't want the tower to fall she does it's almost like there's a change or an ending coming or that is happening at this time and it's almost like they're they're having a change or an ending to avoid a tower to have a, a reunion very weird tell me about the four of if this is resonating with you let me know in the comments okay we got the nine of pentacles reverse Again, someone's attached, not free, not independent, relying on something or someone. Tell me more about the Four of Swords and the Eight of Cups. It's like someone is uh, still thinking about a departure. Yeah, this could have been a long-term commitment here or something to do with marriage. Three of Swords, definitely. Some of you are in a third party, even though you're single. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. Why is the High Priestess? Okay, I'm not gonna take that one. Nine of Cups Reversed. Tell me more about the High Priestess Reverse. Why is the High Priestess Reversed? Too many. I got one more for the High Priestess Reverse. the world okay came out in limbo the world so it's almost like you're ignoring your intuition about how to approach a new chapter um maybe there's no closure here strength at the bottom you could be dealing with a leo or a pisces does not have to be or a gemini I have gemini scorpio strongly here water earth and fire basically everybody's here but the strongest energies I feel are like the major arcanas. Anyway, so I have the High Priestess reversed. This is someone that is either, I think it's ignoring intuition um, because I have something here about closure. It's almost like there has not been cl complete closure here. Someone's unable to, to start a new beginning because they haven't left the old one. There's something that hasn't been closed or wrapped up here. And I feel like someone is not getting their wish or is not satisfied or content with what has happened. Maybe they don't have the strength to do what needs to be done here to completely detach. Tell me about the lovers reverse. 
Something about the lovers reverse. Why is the lovers reverse here? Look at this. Six of cups and the fool. It's almost like the past or the future here. The past or the future. Which will you choose? I think you're going to choose the wrong. Be careful. You could make the wrong choice here. What else can you tell me about the lover's reverse? Some of you want a new beginning with the past, and I don't think that is the right choice. And others of you, I feel like you want to leave the past behind and have a new beginning, but you haven't left the past behind energetically. You know what I mean? Like, there's something about the past that you're so energetically attached to or still thinking about. And so how can you have a, a completely new beginning? Tell me about the lover's reverse. Can I get one more card, please, for the lover's reverse? Justice. I feel like you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be open, objective, logical about this choice. King of Wands at the bottom. I feel like there's something that you want to make right, something that you want to go after here based on truth, on uh, justice, on balance. King of Wands gets what he wants. Again, reminds me of this Knight of Wands here, but you know, this is a block here for sure. And I feel like someone here needs to make a final decision and it's and they need to be logical about it and honest about it because otherwise it could be the wrong choice. This could be you or the person you are dealing with or will be dealing with in some way here. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here for my beautiful Scorpio singles. I hope this resonated for you in some way. I hope that you got some sort of clarity here. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.